Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the Bootstrap Free series. In this part we're going to be looking at the advantages and disadvantages of using Bootstrap. From personal experience, Bootstrap is absolutely amazing. I mean really amazing. But it will be unfair to you to not go over the disadvantages of Bootstrap. Like I said, we'll be going over the advantages as well. Firstly, let's cover those, the advantages of using Bootstrap Framework um, for your website and the advantages to your development process. It works in all modern browsers and handles the differences between them behind the scenes including the responsive design. This alone is a major selling point of the framework but there are plenty more. We are learning version 3 which has a mobile first policy due to the growing base of mobile devices from phones to tablets to phablets plus many more. It handles many small CSS annoyances behind the scenes, which is also great. It provides consistency through your website and other sites you develop, easily allowing you to reuse code, whether it's for, uh, internally within that same project or uh, using another project that is using Bootstrap. Helps developers who aren't the best at designing a great user experience by providing several UI elements and excels the experts of UX design as well. It comes integrated with the extremely popular jQuery framework, which we have a tutorial series on covering how to use it. Including some, it also includes some extra jQuery plugins, saving time integrating them and getting to work. Some may say this is a disadvantage because it's including some jQuery frameworks that you may not want but they're very lightweight so it's not too much of an issue. There are many templates uh, to help you learn which is great. The bootstrap documentation is actually really good. I was surprised when I saw it. Unlike other frameworks, web or mobile, a lot of the time the documentation or resources available whether it's official or unofficial are terrible. But bootstrap had a good set of documentation so even if you don't want to learn via this series and you want to learn via their website, that's fine as well because they've got you covered. Heavily lightweight and customizable. Finally, it's open source and completely free. There are, I mean, that's a lot of advantages and we have covered um, some of them, but not all of them. Now let's cover the few disadvantages. Really, there's only a couple of main ones. jQuery plugins are limited, but that isn't much of an issue as you can integrate any extra yourself. Uh, as you don't want the framework to be bloated with un unnecessary components. Like most frameworks, to achieve amazing and complex results, you need to put the time and effort in. So again, not much of a disadvantage, just the way things are really. Um, we have now covered the advantages and disadvantages of using Bootstrap Framework. You're probably shouting at your screen saying, teach me, teach me. And in the next tutorial, we will start looking at what the grid system is and what it is. Uh, it provided by the bootstrap framework in terms of a grid after that we will learn how to program so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at someone else systems .co .uk. the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just alternatively message us via youtube and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day